Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Dirge Designs. Today marks the very first, very first, Dirge Designs episode. I struggled a little bit with what to make my first video on and I decided to do a hobby supply haul video. I find that haul videos tell you a little bit about the person and what they're working on and the techniques and things that they like, so I figured that would be a good introduction to me and the things that I do and I'm working on. Um, this video is going to be a little rough and tumble. Uh, I didn't put too much effort into it because I want to get it out. I want the first video done so I can start making new content for my channel. So if you guys like any kind of hobby supply hauls or scale modeling, painting, terrain building, anything to do with Warhammer 40k or Warhammer Fantasy or Age of Sigma or whatever the hell they call it now, uh, stick around because I'm going to have a lot of videos covering those subjects and much more. So hit that subscribe button so that you can be ready for all the new content coming your way. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you soon. Okay, so we're going to start semi-chronological order, I guess. Not that it really matters, but... Uh, one of the first things I'd like to talk about is these... Secret Weapon Washes. Uh, the local hobby store where I get my uh, Warhammer models and such had a uh, small amount of these left. And I've heard a lot of good things about them, so I picked up... I already had bought a Ruby one, and I really liked how they worked out, so I bought the rest of what they had, which was the Stone and Orange... And this one is Sunshine. Uh, this one I bought for... Uh, mostly for rusting effects. Uh, but I could use this for... I'm imagining yellow. Be a good color to put over yellow. This stone color is a gray-green color. Currently I'm working on a lot of Nurgle models. And this is a fantastic color for that. Because it's got that greeny tint to it. It's good for sludge and grime effects. So I'm going to be using this one a lot. And this yellow I bought. I have Lamenter's Yellow by Games Workshop. Which is a glaze. I use that a lot. I wanted to try another color. That was more a wash. Because the glaze will sit on top of the model. This I wanted to run in the recesses. So I bought this yellow for some of the Nurgle effects. And I'm assuming rust could be used for. So I got those. Next up in the wash department, I bought these Army Painter washes. These I've also heard a lot of good things about. I really wanted to try them. At first I thought they were the inks, which is what I'm used to with the Army Painter. Uh, they had the big bottles a long time ago. And these are actually washes. They still carry the inks. But these are more of a traditional wash. So I was excited that I didn't have to uh, do dull coat over them. But I bought some anyway. That's another thing I bought. Because you do have to dull coat over their inks. I am happy I bought this though. Because as you'll see some of the other products. Uh, the dull coat is awesome in taking the sheen down on a lot of that stuff. So I got that in conjunction with these. But I don't need it with these. But these washes are awesome. I got the soft tone. If that's going to focus. There we go. Strong tone. Soft tone. And I got dark tone. Which this dark tone one is awesome. Let's see. Um, when I went to get the dull coat. Uh, there's a local place. They mostly do railroad hobby stuff. Uh, that's where I got this. And when I was there to buy this. I found these awesome products here, which are called the Detailer. And these, I believe they're mostly for car guys, for tinting windshields and uh, blacking out grills. I bought them to try them, and these are awesome for any kind of like scale model applications. Uh, they do dry with a shine which is why I'm glad I bought the dull coat 
but I really do suggest these. Uh, they come in really cool colors, like a gray. To do this over white, it gives like a slight dingy white color. I've used this a lot already for a lot of Nurgle guys. Uh, they are almost like a wash, but they're in between a wash and a glaze. A wash is a little thinner. These are kind of... They're almost like a maple syrup consistency. I, I can't really... I don't know if you can see that. So they'll sit on top of the paint, much like a glaze, but it'll also run in the recesses. So I'm super happy to have these. Uh, this red's really good, too. If you guys want me to do a review on these, because I've seen no reviews on YouTube for this product, and barely any websites I've seen carry them. Uh, so if you guys want me to do a review on these, just let me know. I, I'll do a full-on review for these products. I, I think more of the Warhammer guys and the Gunpla guys should get into these, because they're very convenient in that they're in between a wash and a glaze, so I highly suggest these. Also, while I was there, I picked up this uh, Tamiya X28 thinner. I haven't had much experience in using thinners such as this, but I transferred all my GW paints into dropper bottles, so I needed a thinner. So I gave this a try, and it's it works really well. It doesn't... Uh, when you mix it with the paint, it doesn't break it up. You know, sometimes you put thinner in and the paint just falls apart. So this works pretty good with the GW stuff. I haven't experimented with uh, Vallejo or anything like that, but I picked it up. I think it's pretty useful, so it's another good thing to have in my arsenal. Uh, next up, I bought some cheapy oil paints. These are uh, Royal Langnickel. They're just cheapy paints. It was like a whole set for $6 or something. I really want to try a lot of the oil wash techniques that the armor guys are doing, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on expensive oil paint because I'm not too used to the technique yet. So I figured I would try these out, see what colors I liked, and pick up some higher quality ones. I don't really know the quality of these, but they were 6 bucks for like a whole bunch of these little tubes, but... I like a lot of these colors. I think for rusting, this Viridian will be, or Vermilion will be nice. And these yellows, and I think the purples will be good for some of the Nurgle stuff as well. So I picked those up. And from the same company, I got this set of these pastels. Uh, it was $5 for a whole bunch of pastels. I use a lot of weathering powders, but I don't want to buy an entire thing of one color, like... For instance, this, like, turquoise color. I wouldn't buy a whole entire, you know, 8 to $10 thing of weathering powder to use, like, maybe once. So I figured I'd pick these up and uh, maybe crush them up. I've seen a lot of uh, YouTubers do that where they crush up the pastels. So I want to use a lot of these colors. Some of these, let me get this thing off of here. Some of these colors are super good for weathering powders. This, I don't even know what color this is. It's like a dusty color. These right here, all these down here, I just am excited about. So I'm gonna crush those up. Unfortunately, these are like half size ones. So I may buy another one. It was only $5 for all these. And they're the hard pastels. So I might crush them up in like a mortal and pestle and use them for a few weathering powder applications. The next thing, which I was waiting for for a while, but they came as soon as I wanted to film this, I bought a mess of weathering products from Japan. I'm getting into a lot of the weathering stuff for the Nurgle model, so I wanted to try all these different things out. Um, so I got these Mr. Weathering, uh, Mr. Weathering Liners. I have one. This is Snow. I just love the packaging. You gotta love Japanese packaging. This one is a rust set, and this one is a mud and dirt set. They're like a wax crayon almost. I haven't tried them yet. Um, 
I've only seen one person review these on YouTube. So if you guys want to see a review of these, um, let me know. I can do that. Uh, but I just want to give these a try. They they seem to be um, kind of almost like a wax crayon, and you can spread them out with a, a cloth or a Q-tip to get different weathering effects. So I really want to give those a try. So I got those. Then I got the Tamiya Weathering Masters uh, palette. I see a lot of guys use this, and I really want to try this out. These remind me of Festiques, which I've used when I... I did ceramics a long time ago as a kid, and they had Festiques, which are almost like a, a wax-based powder, which I believe these are similar to. So I want to try these out uh, for different weathering techniques. I got an orange rust, gunmetal, and silver. thought that was a good triad for different weathering techniques on some tanks and uh, other kind of machinery for future projects. And then I got this little Weathering Master sponge. I bought a few uh, like cheapy makeup sponges to use for my weathering projects, but I wanted to get one with a long handle in case I had to get into different cracks and crevices of larger models. So I grabbed that. Then I got a Tamiya weathering stick. It's a mud, mud one, so to give that a go, I think that's a similar kind of product to the weathering liners, like an oil-based type of product that you spread around. So I'll see how that works. Pretty excited for that. And I this is a random thing I got. Uh, it's a high abrasive eraser. I saw some Mr. Hobby stuff that was a similar abrasive uh eraser for chipping effects. I got this at a local art store for like two, three dollars. So I figured I'd give that a try for some chipping effects. And last but not least, I ordered some MIG ammo stuff. This is the spaceship sci-fi weathering set. I got the MIG ammo heavy mud. And this is AK, but I got some agitator balls for my paint. Uh, some of the paint I have is getting old, so I wanted to throw these agitator balls in there to mix them up. Uh, the moist ground, I plan on doing some more armor and things of that nature, so I grabbed this to spread in the tracks. I believe that's what it's for, so I want to give that a go. And then this spaceship weathering set. I have the civilian vehicle weathering set by Megamo, which is great and has a lot of rust colors. This one has a lot of black and gray. So I have it has a pigment metal slag. So I'm probably going to use that for a lot of barrel ends and things like that for different vehicles and guns. And this is the Starship Wash. It's like a a gray green kind of wash so I think I'll use that for a lot of weathering applications and then the streaking effects for the armor and ships and tanks a lot of the 40k stuff I'm doing lately oil things of that nature I figured I would grab like a gray or a black kind of uh, weathering and wash application so that is my haul for right now if you guys want to see reviews of any of these products, let me know, and I will put those up. Uh, thank you guys so much. Have a great one.